Hi, welcome to Phoenix Day Live. We're here at Papa John's brand new pizza store in Phoenix Day. You can't believe it, can you? We've got everything. Vic, you're the regional manager for Papa John's store. You've come to Phoenix Day. First question, big question, what persuaded your company to come here? I think it was uh, more, more with, um, we're trying to grow our brand as well, of course. Mm -hmm. And knowing Felix, though, the way it has been, uh, I think the history of it is it's a quite busy, nice, nice little town, nice little um, seaside inside as well. Mm -hmm. We really needed, I think, we needed the brands here. Since we have started building, uh, I've personally been coming down and uh, seeing the town around. Lots of lots of interest. I've had everyone asking, when are we opening? When are we opening? And that gave me a really goosebumps for thinking we are bringing something good into the town. Excellent. Now, you're a big brand and you come to our town. This brand actually started, what, in America? Quite a while ago. So Papa John's a massive brand in, in America. So from States, um, the owner, the John, Mr. John himself, brought it over to the UK, uh, I believe in the 90s, and, uh, and started growing from there onwards. So we, by 2000, we had about, I think, 100 or 150 stores in the UK. Right. And um, currently we're sitting on up around 550 and still growing. So we're, we're just under 600. So we're the second uh, largest pizza chain in the UK now. When we look at a store like this, you do a huge range of, of flavours and pizzas and sizes and stuff. It must be really something that takes a lot of doing with the guys who work here, getting them trained and up, up to speed. It definitely does, yeah. So we, we normally start uh, hiring people about two months before mm -hmm. and we start training them in the nearby store. So we had a manager been training for two months mm -hmm. and uh, already had previous experience with Papa John's as well. We started training in Ipswich and we found stores in St. Ives. Cambridge as well, so we've got people who are training there as well. The local team we've hired, uh, they've been training in Ipswich, had a few training days there. Also been training in this, particularly. But knowing from pizza baso to pizza sauce to topping to cheese, lots to learn. And I think the more they're going to learn, it's going to be more like rather than open, they're all learning a bit more every day by day. So. It goes faster when you're really doing it. It does, yeah, it? yeah. We had a good, this morning I think we had a really good one as well. We got busy at 11 o'clock when we opened up. And the guys worked really, really, really hard. And, and you've had customers coming in and you've had stuff happening. Correct. You're getting stuff rolling along. Lots of walk-ins this morning. I think the weather's not with us right now, but it has been uh, nice this morning. Now we've got a bit of break, which actually gives us a bit of break to prepare for the evening. I think looking at the weather, we might even get more busier later on, and we're prepared for it. When you look at a business like this, you cater for all kinds of people, don't you? In other words, you have people stroll in, you have people ring you up and say, can we get a delivery and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. How's that going for, as far as the delivery side is concerned? Because that's increasingly become a big part of business, it is, hasn't it? Yeah. So I think our, our business actually relies on deliveries a lot. Um, we didn't start deliveries as of yet because um, the driver numbers, that's the only thing I think we lacked. But it's not like we haven't got them, we have. Jubilee weekend has stopped us a bit, yeah. and I think a lot of people are going away this weekend. Mm -hmm. Hence why we've been a bit slow on dry, starting on deliveries. But actually, the deliveries are currently live now. We right. actually open up deliveries right now, and uh, we're, we're going to start deliveries from now on. So Excellent. So that'll be good news, won't it? To, uh, to begin with, we're only going to be delivering within fleet. So. What about staffing? You've got all your own staff. Have yeah. you got any local staff? Yeah, or is we've, that on? Staff. Yeah, we've created about 20 jobs right. in the area, so we're, we're looking to hire more drivers. And we've got lots of in-stores already, so we've got seven in-store people, all local kids, right. that go to school and colleges around here. Excellent. So, things are looking good? Yeah, looking very good for us. Yeah. So get in there and take a look for yourself. They've got some really good opening offers, so you can get a taste for yourself. And you can reach Papa John's by phone, online, or in person in the store between 11am and 11pm. They've also got a menu leaflet you can get in store. And just so you know, they passed the Felix Stowe Live taste test. Delicious.